Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create coupons for your hotel booking website so that you can actually give some discounts to your hotel guests or visitors. So the coupon will be applied just like over right here after someone has searched for a room and decided which kind of rates they are going to use and even if they have added like an additional service and once they apply the coupon, automatically it will tell them whether the coupon has been applied successfully or not and automatically right here you'll have the amount that has been discounted it can be a percentage or it can be a flat fee so let's dive straight in and i'll show you how you can do that so the first thing you have to do is to have the hotel booking engine plugin installed and activated and once that is done you're going to come over here to accommodations and come straight down here to settings and under settings you're going to come straight down here and make sure that you enable the use of coupons by checking that option and then you simply save changes once you're done saving changes, you're going to come right here to the bookings tab and click on coupons. And we've already created a coupon called disability. So you can simply create another coupon and I can name this coupon students. Okay, and I can describe this coupon in any way. This coupon is for all students below 18 below 25 years and we can give them like a percentage discount or a fixed discount per accommodation per stay a fixed discount per accommodation per day so depending on what you want i prefer to use for now a percentage and i'll say maybe it's going to be a 20 percent off if this person is a student and then the expiration date you can determine over here you can say this coupon is only valid for all people who are going to book in for our hotel during the summer season and these people should only be students so by allocating a date for that coupon it means that by the time that season or that period is done that coupon won't be used anymore once that is done you can actually select which accommodation types that actually this coupon can be used on so in this case we don't expect a student to book an executive room and a twin room so we can only apply this to a deluxe room so it means that if this person comes in and they are booking a twin room or an executive room then they won't get the 20 percent discount and right here you can specify the check-in after or even the check-in before date that depends on all what you want and then the minimum days you can say that you want this coupon to be only given to people who are going to stay in your hotel for five days or more if they're staying lesser days then they can't use this coupon or you can even specify and say the maximum days for which this coupon can be used and say the maximum days that someone can book using this coupon will be only 15 days for our hotel that goes back to how you want and you can even specify and say you want this coupon to be used by only the first 25 people who are going to book using the coupon that all goes back to what you want so in this case i'm simply going to say publish okay so now i have my coupon published when i come here to bookings coupons you realize that i have a coupon called students and it's actually offering a 20 percent off so when i come over here to my accommodations I'm simply going to just come over here to the standard room and I'll check for the availability of this room. So I'm one person, I have no kid. I'll check for the availability. And of course the room is showing up over here. I can say reserve the room. But again, I have to specify over here I'm one adult. I have no kid at the moment. I'll choose the standard rate. And right here I'm going to apply my coupon because I'm a student. And when I say apply, automatically my coupon is applied. And when I come over here to the price breakdown, you realize that yes, I'm one adult and I'm going to stay for these nights. So at the end of the day, the subtotal is what I had to pay. But this hotel is actually giving me a 20% discount and I'm going to save this much money. And this is the total amount that I'm actually going to pay at the end of the day by using the coupon called students. So now let's suppose someone is going to book an executive room of which the coupon student doesn't apply so i'm going to come back to our accommodations so i'll come straight to my executive room and i'm going to check for the availability okay it's one adult and of course our hotel booking engine recommends a room automatically but in this case i'm interested in the executive room so i'll simply say book this room confirm reservation and uh, i'll select i'm one adult i don't have any kid but i want to book the executive room so when i come over here to the coupon section and i enter in my coupon called called students and i say apply 
automatically this coupon will say sorry this coupon is not applicable to your booking contents now that means that i can't use this coupon on the executive room simply because under coupons students we did not enable that someone booking a twin room or an executive room is able to use this coupon called students because ideally a student would not book a twin room or an executive room so in a nutshell that's how you can create and enable coupons on your hotel booking website thank you so much for watching in case you are new here and you like the tutorial please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe